Surah 65. Atalak. Context. Period of Revelation. Abdullah bin Masood, a famous companion has pointed out. And the internal evidence of the subject matter of the Surah confirms the same. That it must have been sent down after the verses of Surah 2. Al-Baqarah, in which commandments concerning divorce were given for the first time. The theme and subject matter. In order to understand the commandments of this surah, it would be useful to refresh one's memory about the instructions which have been given in the Quran. Concerning divorce and the waiting period, Idda, above. Divorced women remain in waiting, meaning do not marry, for three periods and it is not lawful for them to conceal what God has created in their wombs if they believe in God in the last day. And their husbands have more right to take them back in this period if they want reconciliation. Surah 2, verse 228. Divorce is twice. Then, after that, either keep, her, in an acceptable manner or release, her, with good treatment. Surah 2, verse 229. And if he has divorced her, for the third time, then she is not lawful to him afterwards until, after, she marries a husband. Surah 2, verse 230. O you, who have believed, when you marry believing women and then divorce them before you have touched them, meaning consummated the marriage, then there is not for you any waiting period to count concerning them. So, provide for them and give them a gracious release. Surah 33, verse 49. And those who are taken in death among you and leave wives behind, they, the wives, shall wait four months and ten days. Surah 2, verse 234. The rules prescribed in these verses were as follows. Number 1. A man can pronounce at the most, three divorces on his wife. Number 2. In case the husband has pronounced one or two divorces, he is entitled to take the woman back as his wife within the waiting period, and if after the expiry of the waiting period, the two desire to remarry, they can remarry. There is no condition of legalization. But if the husband has pronounced three divorces, he forfeits his right to keep her as his wife within the waiting period, and they cannot remarry unless the woman remarries another husband and he subsequently divorces her of his own free will. Number 3. The Waiting Period of the Woman Who menstruates, and marriage with whom has been consummated, is that she should pass three monthly cycles. The waiting period in case of one or two divorces is that the woman is still the legal wife of the husband, and he can keep her back as his wife within the waiting period. But if the husband has pronounced three divorces, this waiting period cannot be taken advantage of for the purpose of reconciliation, but it is only meant to restrain the woman from remarrying another person, before it comes to an end. Number 4. There is no waiting period for the woman. Marriage with whom has not been consummated. And who is divorced even before she is touched. She can remarry, if she likes, immediately after the divorce. Number 5. The waiting period of the woman whose husband dies, is four months and ten days. Here, one should understand well that this surah was not sent down to annul any of these rules or amend it, but it was sent down for two purposes. First, that the man who has been given the right to pronounce divorce, should be taught such judicious methods of using this right as do not lead to separation as far as possible. However, if separation does take place, it should only be in case all possibilities of mutual reconciliation have been exhausted. For in the divine law, provision for divorce has been made only as an unavoidable necessity. Otherwise, God does not approve that the marriage relationship that has been established between a man and a woman should ever break. The Prophet has said, God has not made lawful anything more hateful in his sight, than divorce. And, of all the things permitted by the law, the most hateful in the sight of God is the divorce. The second objective was to complement this section of the family law of Islam, by supplying answers to the questions that had remained after the revelation of the commandments in Surah 2, Al-Baqarah. So, answers have been supplied to the following questions, 
what would be the waiting period of the women? Marriage with whom has been consummated and who no longer menstruate, or those who have not yet menstruated. In case they are divorced, what would be the waiting period of the woman? Who is pregnant, or the woman whose husband dies? If she is divorced, and what arrangements would be made for the maintenance and lodging of the different categories of divorced women, and for the fosterage of the child whose parents have separated on account of a divorce? Surah 65, at Talak. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. O Prophet, when you Muslims divorce women, divorce them for the commencement of their waiting period, and keep count of the waiting period, and fear God. Your Lord, do not turn them out of their husbands' houses, nor should they themselves leave during that period, unless they are committing a clear immorality. And those are the limits set by God. And whoever transgresses the limits of God, has certainly wronged himself. You know not, perhaps God will bring about after that, a different matter. And when they have nearly fulfilled their term, either retain them according to acceptable terms, or part with them according to acceptable terms. And bring to witness two just men, from among you, and establish the testimony for the acceptance of God, that is instructed to whoever should believe in God in the last day. And whoever fears God, he will make for him a way out, and will provide for him from where he does not expect. And whoever relies upon God, then he is sufficient for him. Indeed God will accomplish his purpose. God has already set for everything, a decreed extent. And those who no longer expect menstruation among your women, if you doubt, then their period is three months, and also for those who have not menstruated. And for those who are pregnant, their term is until they give birth. And whoever fears God, he will make for him of his matter, ease. That is the command of God, which he has sent down to you. And whoever fears God, he will remove for him his misdeeds, and make great for him his reward. Lodge them in a section of where you dwell, out of your means. And do not harm them, in order to oppress them, and if they should be pregnant, then spend on them until they give birth. And if they breastfeed for you, then give them their payment, and confer among yourselves in the acceptable way. But if you are in discord, then there may breastfeed for him. The father, another woman, let a man of wealth spend from his wealth, and he, whose provision is limited, let him spend from what God has given him. God does not burden any soul except according to what he has given it. God will bring about, after hardship, ease, relief. And how many a city was insolent toward the command of its Lord and his messengers. So we took it to severe account, and punished it with a terrible punishment. And it tasted the bad consequence of its affair, rebellion, and the outcome of its affair was loss. God has prepared for them a severe punishment. So fear God, O you of understanding who have believed. God has sent down to you a reminder, the Quran. He sent a messenger, Muhammad, reciting to you the distinct verses of God, that he may bring out those who believe and do righteous deeds, from darknesses into the light. And whoever believes in God and his righteousness, he will admit him into gardens beneath which rivers flow, to abide therein, forever. God will have perfected for him a provision. It is God who has created seven heavens and of the earth, the like of them. His command descends among them, so you may know that God is over all things competent, and that God has encompassed all things in knowledge. <laughs>